Mike with 3G Construction 1310 Firefly. Looking at the interior paint and the blinds. Curtain rods look like they're in pretty bad shape, so I think we would just take those down and patch patch up the holes, the screw holes. Screw holes now holes. Those are always included. Small drywall patches, depending on the size, are typically included as well. I think we'd figure one color on the walls and the ceiling. I, I really don't see the point or uh, just can't can't think of justification for doing a two-tone paint job in here. It's got a stain pack. Um, when I say two-tone, I mean the ceilings and the walls being different color. I can just do one color. I'll do a stock color that's easy to find so in the future um, the owner, property manager, or tenant um, will at least have access to that paint very easily. So hopefully a touch-up will be the only thing that's needed in the future. We also track the colors as well. So if you ever need that information then there's a little drywall patch, it's not a big deal. But not too much to show here. I mean the walls are pretty beat up. Lots of patches. Little patches. It's like someone came back and just tried to fill up the nail holes, screw holes, with some some type of uh, mud or spackle. But I did see this soffit in one of the bedrooms. I think we can uh, figure on making that look a whole lot better. Also, let's return. We measured for the blinds. So we'll tune these returns up. They need a little TLC, which uh, we would definitely give. I fix that too. That's no big deal. That's it for now. If you have any questions, concerns, ideas, please let me know.